So we're now on our very last day of Mystery at the Museum, which is this summer's challenge. We, we got... have 21 out of 35. So we're gonna go to this covered bridge at Oxford, at Oxford Lake. And we have found long ago this geocache, actually one of our first geocaches we found together, I believe. Um, however, the park was recently remodeled. And so that's a good, good news for us because it gives us a new cache to hunt for. Listen to their cheeping. Look how cute! Oh. They're so babies. I don't know if there's a plaque for it, but this covered bridge used to be somewhere else, and they moved it here. I think the for wherever it was, they've replaced it with like a modern bridge because obviously this one doesn't really look car suitable. That's why there's a pole in the middle of it. Yeah. This cache is called the Covered Bridge Cache. Although I hope it's not here next to this large wasp nest. The wasps tried their hardest to make sure we couldn't find it. However, near the wasp nest, we found the log. Gently, quietly. It doesn't have its own geocache, but it is a fairly popular place for them. I'm always a fan. For our next trick, we're going to Coldwater Creek Park. It's a very popular swimming place, and in this park there is a geocache somewhere. It's not actually in the park. And then the gate's over there, it just says no outlet. is giving me. All right, yeah. so somewhere right in here though, right? Yeah, yeah. right in front of this. All right. Well, it's 100 degrees, it's sweaty, it's humid. So it's gotta be on this thing somewhere. Yeah. Right. Beat your way back through. Into the jungle I go. Bye, Alex. All right, so we're right outside of Cronospan, which is a large factory where they built car parts of some kind. And there's a, a geocache called You Never Know Where a Cache Might Turn Up. It says it's a unique container, so. Somewhere in that fence line over there. I guess we'll see what we can find. Well, there's definitely no geocache in that tree. Well, I saw one log that said that they thought the container might be missing, so they brought another one. Okay, so we were looking for a unique container. We were looking about 15 feet the wrong direction. Um, that being said, I totally walked right past this one without noticing that it was hanging here. And so the answer to the question is, yes, I am just stupid. Regardless. Five nice things about yourself. We Go. Found, we found it. About yourself. I was able to find it. Four more. Um, I didn't complain too much. I'm coping with the pain of whatever stung my finger a second ago very well, despite the shaking. Um, I'm having a lot of fun right now. That counts the nice thing, right? Because some people aren't capable of having fun. And I'm loved by a very beautiful woman. That's true. Out! Out! I just laid back on a sword! So we found another geocache. Um, <laughs> Alabama is a very lively place to live and work in geocache. Meaning that there's a lot of stuff alive, and when there's a lot of stuff that's alive, there's a lot of stuff that wants to sting, bite, and eat you. Or so, just stab. Just stab you. Wants to protect itself. Who's gonna protect me? You are. On to the next brushy cache to get the next load of chiggers and thorn stings. Dang. Yeah. Burned out abandoned school. Survey marker. Oh, splinters. Oh. Geocache. Historic East Aboga, East Aboga's historic school. It burned down very recently.
Lost in Talladega, park and grab. Suspicious pile of rocks. That'll be the one. Official geocache. Three hundred and eight. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're at a truck stop. There's a geocache. There are is required of whacking bushes. Bushwhacking may be required. It was a little bit of a trail amongst all the poison oak. Regardless, down there underneath where all those sticks are, it's probably where it's supposed to be. So we shall sign when geocaching. Right? Because that's how this works. Yep. Yeah. We win. Yep, we win. Man, my handwriting's beautiful. <laughs> Making steady progress. In case you can't tell, that's 27 out of 35 that we found. Next is don't be alarmed. I think it's way down there. Mystery at the museum, they said. It'll be fun, they said. So much nature. All right, 46 feet. I suspect it wasn't this thick. But the, the log, the guy at the geocache very distinctly says to come in this way. But that way was not easier. There is, however, a fire alarm stuck on this tree. And the geocache next to this sprite. So the geocache is called Don't Be Alarmed, and there's this fire alarm on the tree. Geocache is done beneath these sticks. And we're gonna bushwhack our way back out to the truck stop that we got in here from. We're on our way to find a cache called Twist and Shout. And it is supposed to be a puzzle cache. However, the cache is at the posted coordinates, and so I'm thinking it's gonna be a field puzzle. So we are on scene for a puzzle geocache. There's a bunch of pipes over there. The cache is called Twist and Shout. So I think we're supposed to try it. There's probably a geocache container inside the bunch of pipes somewhere. We gotta rattle it out, but we'll see how that works out. And shout. And shout. Twist and shout. It's a large geocache. It says start right here. Must be our exit hole. All right, so it sounds like there's one of the little micro containers in here rattling around inside it. A lot of twisting, a lot of shouting required. Well, that was a very cool geocache. Good job, Marianne. Thanks. For calling that it was blocked in the obvious route. So what happened was, it started here, bison tube. And I guess we're supposed to slip it back in there. Anyway, so then we have to shake it and it rattles down to here, right? And so we're trying to get it out right here. So we had it just bouncing back and forth right here over and over and over again until Marianne came to the conclusion that it must be blocked going down this way. Which makes sense, because otherwise there'd be no point to this whole apparatus up here. So what we did is then we twisted it upside down, rattled it down here, rattled it down there, rattled it down, and it popped right out. Very cool geocache. Good job, those who did it. It was definitely a diversion from the regular. Somewhere in that dense thicket is where the geocache is. We'll save it for winter. It might be a better winter cache. When I have boots on. Because that's a lot of briars. I think she found it. Over there. In that guardrail. Well, so we try it crossing. Oh. oh my gosh! It's got dinosaurs. It's got a whole lost world down there. This is so cute. Four more on our very last day of Mystery at the Museum. We found many geocaches. Wait, how many have we found at this point just for Mystery at the Museum? Um, I think it'll be close to 50 by the end of it. Let's see, it'd be one for the detective, two, four, six, so that'd be seven, time, or plus three, 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 three. Yeah, plus 35. Yeah, close to 60. Ben. Restaurant supplies. It smells like a restaurant in there. I guess that's unsurprising. Yeah, it's here. Three to go. The day marches on, we find more and more geocaches. Impressive amounts of geocaches, if you ask me. 
No one did, but if you did, that's what I would say. I think I'm gonna have a tick. Nope, just dirt. Um, I'm sure I have a tick somewhere. I was about to say, I'm almost certain I do. Just haven't found it yet. All right, so what's next? That, of course, is a Chick-fil-A, but further, of course, it's Sunday. So the presence of the Chick-fil-A is not helpful to us. What is helpful to us is this probable geocache here. There was a geocache in the lamppost, which I believe brings us to just one more geocache. Uno mas! It's been a very good day of geocaching. We're at 34 out of 35, so we are almost finished with Mystery at the Museum. Which out of all of the challenges and things geocaching has done, this has been by far my favorite. The basic goal of it is just finding geocaches, but there's sort of a plot to it. and I don't know, it's been a lot of fun, I think. It has been. But it certainly got us out. I think we definitely have found more geocaches than we would have if it weren't for this in this mm -hmm. time period. But we've also found a lot of really cool geocaches too. They haven't all just been simple ones. And the simple ones have added to the fun, you know? That's true. It's just been all around a good geocaching experience. It's not 100% sure how this works, uh, but it's a simple augmented reality cache. We'll need to use an Android or iOS, iOS phone. The virtual world of geocaching. Are you ready to take it to the next level? It's a lot of smiley faces. Next. Okay. Since this is new to us all, this will be an easy way to get your feet wet on caching in this way. First, go to the cords and look for the memorials. It's given us some new coordinates to go to. Nearby? Yeah. Okay. Probably those memorials up there. In fact, it seems to kind of be directing us in that direction. Now tell me what is the first line of the middle memorial. Not in vain, perhaps? Oh, okay, congratulations. Oh, new coordinates with a lamp skirt and a log. Historic downtown. Big empty building, check. Oh, I want it. It's got ghosts. So? Well, after we did it. following all of that, steps, we found our first augmented reality cache. There were steps given to us by a strange man in an app, and that puts us at 35, thus completing the mystery at the museum. And look, the sun's just now beginning to set. All right. I swear if that says find 35 more geocaches, we're staying up until freaking midnight. It says find 35, check, we found 35, so access the lock. Find the code to unlock the vault and solve. Hint, check your souvenirs. Find the code. Check your souvenirs. 15. Number 15's on there. But there's... Three. And there's three souvenirs. 15. Wait, I might be doing this backwards, because that'll be 81. That's true. So it'll be briefed on the case. 20. 02? 02. Yeah, 02. 02. 02. 81. 15. 15. All hidden in the souvenirs we've been looking at this whole time. Done. Congratulations, you have successfully returned the jewels and solved the mystery at the museum. Case closed.